Hi, I'm Kristen Omdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks for getting started making one of the projects from my brand new book, 24 Crochet Hats, Interesting Techniques and Inclusive Sizing for Men, Women, Children, and Babies. Let's get started. This is the Flora Flower Motif Hat. The elegant floral motifs combine with a pretty scallop border at the brim to create a stylish accessory. The flower motif stitches up quickly, making this project perfect for a last minute gift or a swift addition to your wardrobe. This pattern features the join as you go construction that doesn't cut yarn between motifs, only two ends to weave in. You will need number three DK weight yarn and a, the size crochet hook you will need for making the hat is dependent on what size gauge you get for the motifs. And what size hook you use is dependent on your own personal gauge as well. My suggestion for starting to determine gauge would be a size D3 or three millimeter for the smallest size hat, then going up to a G6, four millimeter, H8, five millimeter, or J10, six millimeter crochet hook to make the motif a different size. So basically the hat construction is the same for all sizes. And what how we are affecting size is by making the actual motifs different sizes. So if you, what in, this is only a suggestion for which size crochet hook to use. Your gauge after blocking needs to be two inches, two and a half inches, three inches, or three and a half inches wide per square in order to get a finish size of 14 inches, 17 and a half, 21 inches, or 24 and a half inch hat circumference for the hat. All of this information is spelled out in great detail in the pattern. You can find the link in the video description to download the single pattern or find this pattern in my book, 24 Crochet Hats. In order to find out what our gauge is to know which size hat we're making, we need to make one motif and finish it completely. Not join it to other motifs at all, but just make one motif and finish it completely. So to do that, we're going to tie our yarn to our crochet hook. You can use a square knot, slip knot, whatever works for you, and chain nine. You want to slip stitch to the fifth chain from your hook to form the ring. Do not count the working loop on your hook. It count back, we count back five chains from one, two, three, four, and five. Then chain four, working a, around those remaining chains. We're going to chain four and work a three treble cluster in the ring. Three treble cluster starts with yarn over twice, insert your hook in, the, hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We now have two loops on our hook, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We now have three loops on our hook, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We now have four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on our hook. That is a three treble crochet cluster, chain four, and slip stitch in the ring. And we're going to repeat that chain four, three treble cluster, chain four, slip stitch in the ring two more times. And then for our fourth petal, it's a chain four, three treble cluster in the ring, and then slip stitch to the first chain at the beginning of the chain to join. And that's that remaining chain four of that chain nine that counts as the chain four for the rest of that petal. So now we're ready to begin round two, chain one, single crochet in the same chain four space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain four space, chain nine, we're going to repeat this all the way around and then slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. Remember, this is the motif we're doing just for getting gauge in the actual pattern. We are joining the motifs as we go in a different technique, which means we will be partially making the motif so we can join them as you go without cutting yarn. That's how we make the actual hat. But in order to get gauge, you need to know what your measurements are. And so depending on which, what size crochet hook you use 
and what your personal tension is, you're going to want to make this motif and then block it with water to determine what its finished size is and whether it's two inches, two and a half, three inches, or three and a half inches, it will yield a finished hat that is either 14 inch circumference, 17 and a half, 21, or 24 and a half inch circumference. The hat that is shown in the photos is 21 inch in circumference. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. And everything we talked about today is linked in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.